New fallout tonight at Bethune-Cookman University. Months after a controversial visit from the Secretary of Education, the campus president suddenly announces he's out. News 6's Eric Sandoval is live at Bethune-Cookman tonight. Eric, you just spoke with the founder's granddaughter about this. What did she say? We did, but you know, security actually tried to stop her tonight from talking with us, Matt. They told the founder of this university's granddaughter that if she wanted to speak to us, she couldn't do it on campus. So we guided her over to this sidewalk and we got her take on what happened today. When you heard that the president tendered his resignation today, what was the first thing that went through your mind? When's the moving truck coming? Dr. Evelyn Bethune minced no words in how she felt about Edison Jackson leaving the university her grandmother built. Five years ago, this university had AAA credit, almost no debt, and a $50 million plus endowment. Now she says that's not the case. She points to numbers exposed by the Daytona Beach News Journal. The paper cited tax documents that show Bethune Cookman operated at an $18 million loss last year and had to borrow $7 million from its endowment. Despite that, the paper says Edison Jackson's salary increased $40,000 to $410,000 a year. Jackson made mention of the school's financial shape when he made the controversial choice of Education Secretary Betsy DeVos to deliver the commencement speech in May. Her department controls roughly 80-some percent Title IV monies as well as other uh, 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 grants so why wouldn't we want to make friends? Bethune says she's confident her grandmother's school will recover and once again get good financial grades. We will be okay because the alumni are organized and we are vigilant and we don't plan to just go away. And we spoke to another alum tonight. He says the Alumni Association is actually pushing to get results tonight, pushing for a financial audit of the entire university. He says that way everybody knows what they're working with. The Board of Directors will meet again here bright and early tomorrow morning at Bethune-Cookman University. Lisa, Matt. Eric Sandoval live for us. Thank you.